hard nose football, hit hard, run, get the ball, and that's what type of player I am. Wow, Quan Alexander just blew that up. That's a great job. Quan, you've jumped on a moving train before, as Coach Tomlin likes to call it. How have you acclimated to being with the Pittsburgh Steelers? Uh, it's been legendary since I've been here. You know, uh, everybody brought me in. Uh, just getting here and getting to work and just trying to get stuff done. You know, uh, and that's what we're working on and working towards. Is it hard to kind of go into a new place? You know some people, but it's just a different system, a different atmosphere. How do you acclimate yourself to it as quick as possible so that you can, yeah. you know, play and do what you need to do? Uh, it's year nine for me. So basically it'd be really be the same stuff, just different uh, terminologies and stuff. So I have to just learn that. So I just put my head in the playbook, just get to it as soon as I get here. I had read that you say you're a player first, then a hype man. Mm -hmm. Can you be a hype man right away on a new team? Uh, yeah, you, it, it just got to be in you. Once people feel that energy, it, it, it's just contagious, you know. You just go out there and just be yourself. You know, a lot of people hold back. And they will kind of like not let them play like they want to play. So I just go out there with all, with all confidence and whatever I got in me, just go out there and just bring everybody with me and have fun. Your physicality, has did that start when you were young? Where did that kind of mindset start? It's just been in me. You know, I just like hitting. You know, that's the point of the game for me. Uh, I just like making contact, you know, uh, making people feel me. You know what I'm saying? Well, um, whenever I hit somebody, that's my main goal. Did you bring that legendary mindset that you've talked about so much to Pittsburgh with you? Yeah, that stuck with me. You know, it stuck with me now. Uh, it stuck with me for a couple years, so I'm gonna just keep it going. Can you give us the backstory on how that started and why that's so important to you? It started, I was using the word G-R-E-A-T at first, you know, and G-O-D, and I felt like those words was kind of average. Like, you know, everybody used those kind of words every time they speak and stuff like that. So I just try to like use legendary just to, it's just like my mindset, what I want to be in life and what I want to do. So I just like speaking positivity in life and, and you know, just going with it, you know, uh, and hopefully everybody else join in. The last preseason game is against the Falcons, and you had a legendary game against them through some very difficult circumstances. When you play the Falcons or hear them, does that make you think about the loss of your brother? Less than 48 hours after losing his younger brother, rookie linebacker Quan Alexander played easily the best game of his career. Yeah, no doubt. 11 tackles, an interception, and a fumble recovery. What do you remember from that game and just the zone or the legendary mindset that you were in? Uh, I don't really remember now. I just feel like he just took over my whole body. I just went out there and just played for him. Everything was just happening. Looking forward to the regular season. San Francisco is the first game. You know that team well. Uh, what do you think about that matchup and just that is the opening to this 2023 regular season? Uh, it's it's going to be a legendary matchup. You know, I can't wait to go out there with the team, you know, go out there and do our thing. You know, we got one focus, you know, and that's winning. And that's what we're going to go out there and do and, uh, and stand on it.